Hello guys, welcome back to Gemini Gamers. Today we have our second week of our weekly news show, KSP News Show. So, today we have actually some very, you know, very exciting and interesting news, you know, relating to the game. So, I am going to, last time I actually read the little uh, thing that they had at the top of the development blog, which, you know, was because it, the, the, the actual news of the development was were very low. So, you know, that, that, that made me read that. But now we have some actual news made here. So let's get down to business and start reading it. So this uh, video, you, the, the gameplay you're watching is from my Galileo career mode. So uh, I have a very good mission to the planet. Let's see if I can see it here for you guys. Uh, yeah, Thalia. So that's coming up soon. So, wait for that. Uh, the only reason I'm not showing you footage of that planet right now, like last time. Last time I was at Lily and I was showing you footage of that. It was because I had already released the episodes before that. But this time, this episode will go, you know, this little news thing will go up first before the, the, the actual episode of me going there. So, stick around, subscribe, you know, so you can see that if you want. And let's get down to news, all right? So let's see. First thing, first things first is I'm gonna mention it. Um, so the, the article they were talking about, the developers, uh, it's called about two two neutron stars merging. If you want to read it, go look at the link. It's in the description, so you know you can see it. Anyway, so let's get down to the development news. So, so what they what did the developers basically worked on the making history expansion, which is something they've been working on for a while. And, uh, you know, they can they continue working on it. So, yeah, that's that's basically most of what they did. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about what they did. They worked on the mission app, which is basically, if you don't know at this point, it is basically where you are able to make your own missions for other people to do. So basically just a more complicated level of contracts, you know, like the contracts ask you to go places and stuff like make orbits and stuff. So you can do that. You can make your own, I guess, now. And basically, they uh, improved the UI, so now you can see the objectives. It's probably going to be like a small screen, so you can improve the objectives. Uh, actually see the objectives you're trying to accomplish. And uh, so, yeah, they upgraded the tooltips implementation, so you can, you know, organize it a little bit better. And they worked on the Orbit Gizmo, which is something that will allow you to spawn things in in orbit or get things into orbit easier so you know so it, there's a lot of math when it goes into it when you do it but uh when you actually put something in orbit and you're doing it for a specific mission where you want it to be like geostationary or a certain orbital period you have to do a lot of math uh before this and now apparently they were able to uh get it into a place and or a ui that would let you actually just put the numbers in i would assume or, or, you know, just move it with your mouse, maybe. Something cool like that. So that's that. That's the Orbit Gizmo. And, you know, it may, just makes it easier for you to set orbits in specific missions. So sometimes you want to rescue a Kerbal that is stuck in a orbital period of three days or something like that. And you have to go get them. You know, it's stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much about that. And then they added some new nodes. So new parts for your mission. Escape SOI node. So basically, when you want where you want them to escape the planet's SOI. Like, if you want them to go to another planet, you can tell them to, to part of the mission is to escape the SOI or something like that, so you can do that. And um, Vessel Splash node. So basically, you know, when you splash down, when you're coming down from a, with, a, with a, a space capsule or a plane, whatever, you might have lost, lost control or something, and you hit the water, so you're, you're being forced to land on the water or something like that. That's what that is, and it basically lets you choose a coordinate where you can land at, where you're supposed to land on in part of the mission. And the uh, mission time node, and the and the flight elapse node. So mission time node is basically the time of your mission, or and I guess it will probably be used as a way to elapse the actual time of your mission. So in case you... Uh, you know, just your overall time duration. And it might be like a time limit for your mission, maybe so at some point. You know, that'll probably be a good way to implement that. And flight elapse node is basically the time of your flight. 
In other words, just how long you've been flying. And this peninsula here, little peninsula, is it? Anyway, whatever. This thing reminds me of Florida now that I think about it. So very cool, very cool. Uh, anyway, so. And the last thing, ex part explode node. Which basically means that in the part of your mission, you can make a node, a part of the spacecraft or a, uh, you know, plane or whatever, explode. So for example, right? Uh, you're com so let's make, let's make an, a hypothetical mission where I tell you to land on the KSC, right? So the only catch, though, is that around four minutes into the into the flight, let's pretend I was going back and land this ship, right? Let's pretend that I had the landing gear untouched. That blew up for some reason at the start of the flight. But anyway, um, let's pretend that. And around four minutes into the flight, all of your engines explode, simulating. An explosion and a you know a part failure I guess you would say right and uh, so basically you have to land the, sh the the plane without any power from your engines making things a little more complicated you know not not you know just basically adding a little extra thing to the game that people have been asking for which is basically part failure you can simulate that now however you still have to do it under specific situations where you have to do it during a mission that other people made, or you have to choose those situations yourself. Uh, making things a little more difficult, but, you know, not, not, you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to use it because it's still part of the missions and not part of the actual normal stock game, so, which will be part of the stock game, but, it, you know, it's not, you know, like a normal career mode. It won't be part until you start doing other people's missions that include that or your own missions that you've made for yourself that include a part failure, making things a little more challenging to accomplish a goal of a mission. Anyway, so now to the more juicy part of the development uh, news. Uh, so basically, the, the, the art team, they call it, apparently, is uh, working on a new liquid fuel, so liquid fuel cryogenic engine. And this is still liquid fuel. Is not cryogenic. There's not. There's no cryogenic fuels like the mod cryogenic engines. It's just liquid fuel, but it's basically a cryogenic engine. And it's the J2. And if you don't know what the J2 is, it's basically the second stage Saturn V engine. You know, they had, had the Saturn V had five engines in the second stage, and all those five engines or J2s. I'll be posting a image of them on the screen right now for you to see. And you know, basically a very cool engine. Uh, you know, very historic, so, you know, makes sense for the part of the, of the Making History expansion. So, yeah. And another thing, which is the interesting part, is new textures for 1.875 meters and 5 meter fairings. Alright, so two things about this, right? So, they're committed to the 1.875 meter uh, part thing, right? But the third thing, the second thing interesting about it is a more, you know, being a big bomb part of it, five meter fairings, meaning that there's going to be five meter parts in the game now. So I guess you could say they've been confirmed now that they're going to be including five meter parts. Uh, this is the only part I've seen so far that is five meters. However... Judging by how, you know, you would include a, a fairing for it, there's probably going to be rocket engines and liquid tanks for bigger rockets, all right? So this is the first time I've seen it. Maybe maybe before they mentioned something, but this is the first time I've seen it being mentioned now, all right? So that that's, that's you know, the big thing about this one. Five-meter parts, right? So they're confirmed. Five-meter parts are confirmed now. So, uh, yeah. Unless it was a mistake in the thing, but yeah, five meter parts are coming to the game in the historical expansion, basically. All right, so the last two things here that they said is console updates. So basically for the consoles, you know, the less popular part of the game, consoles and stuff, uh, they added... They, they added new features of uh, save features, so, you know, there was a couple things going up with the saving in console, so they fixed that, I think. And basically new controls. I'm not going to go over it because, you know, uh, you know, it's not nothing big, not nothing big. And you when you play consoles, you'll, you'll figure it out yourself. Um, 
And yeah, the, the last thing is uh, work has started on the 1.4 update, which is another big deal, right? So they're basically saying that they're starting on a new update, a new actual update, you know, that will be hopefully more better taken by the communi- community, key, community, community, sorry, Inst- other than the 1.3 update, which was, you know, just languages, and I don't even know why it was a full-on update, but they did that developers these days anyway so yeah and so that's another big thing and the other smaller little mentioning they mentioned is that the game is moving on to the new unity 2017.1 update which you know isn't that big of a deal but it's it's, you know it's an update to the game engine so yeah uh some things that i saw i looked at the update of that unity so unity uh software so uh Basically, they said they added new particles and new noise particles to you, the to the way you can uh, create stuff in the in the Unity engine. So basically, better particles. Uh, no new performance updates. Uh, you know, so no new performance from the game. Maybe a couple. You know, because it is a new update, so I'm pretty sure they they created a couple, solved a couple bugs in it. But you know, no new new performance. Same performance. Basically, the same thing. Just a little bit of an update, adding a couple new features. Most of them are not important. They're just for the creators, which makes sense, right? So not important to our game, at least not yet. Mostly changes for creators and other people that use Unity. Um, so maybe that might cause some changes in the future of the game and maybe when they start talking more about the actual update, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, week two of the news. Um... Very interesting times are coming. Now that new parts are being confirmed and stuff, and then the new update, a completely new update, not an expansion. So, cool. Good things are coming now. And I'm glad that finally some new development is starting to happen in in the game, which is a good thing for everybody. You know, the game was starting to... the, The stock game, at least, was starting to get a little bit outdated. I would feel a little bit boring... But hopefully these new parts help it from the expansion and then the new update help it get fresh a little bit. Maybe new planets in the 1.4 update. I don't know. Nothing's confirmed. No, no, no information has been released about that update yet. But hopefully we can, you know, you know, assume that they're adding new parts, meaning more planets farther away maybe. Because of the bigger parts, you can go to other further away places, hopefully. Maybe. That's just me speculating. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, You know, like and subscribe, share. You know, talk to other people so they can come and see my little weekly news show. Because, you know, people need to get informed and, you know, to see what's going on with the game again. And, uh, yeah. Uh, You know, if you want to help support the channel, use our G2A link down below. You know, you don't have to. It's a very controversial thing. Um, But, you know, it does help you get cheaper games. And it's better getting them cheaper than actually just, you know, hacking them and stuff like that. So anyway, you know, I won't push that a much and then, the you know, push you to do it. But if you want to, if you're already using it, go ahead and buy a game with a referral link. Help us out a little bit. And yeah, uh, I think. Oh, and also go check out my Galileo series. It's very interesting. Very, very, a lot of new exploration. Uh, you know, the the new moons, the new planets. We've been to many of the places already. If you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. And yeah, subscribe, like, and comment, and share, and activate notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.